Oh. What's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? What's up? Hey, Lonzo, I love you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, steaming. Steaming again today. Steaming. Because I'm steaming with you tonight. But tomorrow, I'll be holding you tight. Because there's no one in the world I'd rather be. Here in my room, steaming my mug, you and me. Oh, yes, I'm steaming, girls, because I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret. Every time I get a uh, before I do a, a COVID test, I always be steaming, even though I always steam. I definitely sting before a COVID. I got to take another COVID test, girl. Another one. Like Fat Joe, uh, uh, DJ Khaled say, another one. Another one. Mm, but I'm just steaming, honey. You know, waiting for the children to come over here and, and, dump, dump, dump. don't you come knocking. I don't want you calling me no more. Tapping on my door. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, did I miss a call? Oh, no. Hello? Oh, I'm about to get my COVID test again. Yes, girl, I have to. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. Girl, but I'll call you when I finish. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Oh. Girl, this thing about to blind me, girl, honey. She's giving me the miss. Walter Mercado. How many of y'all ever watched Walter Mercado if you was growing up? I'm from Miami, so we, bitch, I used to watch Walter Mercado on Telemundo all the time. I didn't know what the fuck Walter Mercado was saying. But all I knew was just Walter Mercado. And girl, it was just like, girl, giving me, I can't really see what y'all comments saying because this theme is giving me, she's giving me a steam demon. Walter Mercado. Yes. Walter Mercado. Walter Mercado is a legend, honey. She le is a legendary girl, honey. Walter Mercado is the legendary girl of the spirit, bitch. You say she was extra, baby. When I tell you Walter Mercado's was the girl, I used to be like, flip a card, Walter. Flip a card. Oh. Oh. Uh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see what y'all said. I can't hardly see what y'all talking about down here. Let me see. Oh, you say you grew up with Jack who? Say it, baby. I don't know. Hi, mamas. Hi, guys. Oh, you love my videos? I love you, too. Yes, I watched Walter Mercado's Netflix, Netflix special, honey. Walter Mercado. Um... Yes, I do got on my reading dress. I do, honey. But, you know, I ain't pack a whole lot of clothes, child, because I'm in quarantine. I have to stay. I have to stay seated. Because I'm dreaming. All right, my steam ran out. Should I steam again, ladies and gentlemen? Should I steam again? Let me put a little bit more um, rose water in here, girl, and then steam again. Steam again. Steam again. And I can never steam, steam again. And I can't stop thinking about, about the way my skin should be. No, I can't stop thinking about how smooth it would be. And I can't get you out of my mind. God knows how hard I try. 
And if you walk right out my life, God knows I sure would die. And I can't stop doing without. No, 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 no. Baby, let me put a, little, put a little bit more steam in here so that I can steam again. Never, never seem again. Yeah. Mm. She been working on my skin. My skin is looking good, girl. Yes, giving you washed face, bitch. Wash face realness, honey. Giving you mermaid, mermaid realness, bitch. Fish. Let me see. Let me turn this on. Let me see. Girl, I got to put some drops in my eyes. Girl, my context is... Honey, let me put some drops in here. Come on, steam. Steam again. Steam again. And I can start getting about. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Now, girl, where y'all at? Now, I'm sitting up here waiting on y'all. Y'all know I'm hungry. Y'all know I ain't went out and did nothing. Bitch, been scared to step out the room, honey, thinking that the air gonna blow on me, girl, and the COVID gonna be just blowing in the air. Bitch, y'all know I'm hungry. Where y'all at? Where y'all niggas at? Let me call the people, my peoples, and see where they at. Hey y'all, gorgeous. Hey baby, where they at? I'm waiting on them. They told me one thirty. Okay, 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 bye. It's me, I'm honey. I want to get this over with. Come shove this thing in my nose. Next time, shove it in my ass so I can really enjoy it. Don't be shoving that shit down in my nose trying to choke me. Shove it in a bitch ass. Y'all know, know I'm gay. G-H-E-Y. Gay. Here we go. Come on. I'm, I'm getting it ready. You say add you. I'm going to add people shortly. I had a good time the other day with y'all on here. I, I ain't used to add people on my lives. Hold on. But I need to come through and start adding y'all on my lives, honey. Y'all be fucking with y'all. Yes, ma'am. El, el, el Walter Mercado. Walter Mercado. If y'all haven't watched the Walter Mercado special on Netflix, I suggest that you do. I loved Walter Mercado growing up as a child, honey. I've always felt that I was connected to the spirit realm. Always. You don't see me misting and smoking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! Hello? Uh, yes, is it for the COVID test? Yes, send them up. Okay, thank you. Oh. Well, y'all about to get ready to see what they do, girl. Y'all about to get ready to see what they do. Y'all about to get ready to see what they do. Oh, I'm gonna go live with you, Jason. Hold on. Let me um let me let the, let these people stick this shit in my nose. Let them stick it in my nose, honey. Hey baby. Hold on. Y'all know I be nervous. Every time they do this shit, I be nervous. I be like tweet, nervous and trembling, smoking cigarettes, bitch. I'm gonna add you. Hold, let me add you. Walter Mercado. What's up, babe? Who is this man coming over to stick something in you? Well, he, if he ain't sticking it in my ass, honey, he ain't really nobody that's, you know, important. They, they what, come is, to... what is all that smoke? Is that the new cocaine or what is it? Oh. I thought, <laughs> I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in Hollywood. I'm like, did I miss the message? What's going on? No, I'm, I like to steam myself before I, um... Before you let my COVID test. Yeah. So just, just to make sure if it, if it done killed any impurities that I done sniffed out here, you know. But you do know you can take the COVID test where they just prick your finger to tell you if you had it in the, before or not. Well, that's the that's the antibody test. Hold on, they here. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, come on in. I'm okay. 
Let me wipe my nose, Tony, because I was just I was in here steaming, child. I don't want y'all to get no no no. Yeah, LA, we can't say wipe our nose because that <laughs> we can't say it. We just gonna wipe my nose in LA because that. I don't want I don't want I don't want y'all to get no misinformation, honey. No misinformation. So is this is the thing small this time? Hi everybody. All your people, all your fans are saying hello. Well, I don't know if they're your fans or my supporters or what's going on. Okay. So we're going to be witnessing a COVID test. Yes, come on, girl. I'm ready. Girl, I'm ready. My people want to see me hit this phone call. Yeah. See, if you got the antibodies, Alonzo, then you good. Girl. Ooh. I know. I done, this is my second, third time. Why you keep taking the test? Why do you keep taking the test? I'm working on a oh. secret project. Oh, I know what it is. Now that I, I won't say nothing, but now that I see the hotel bed in the background, why you ain't came to my house? Hush. Hush, Jason, hush. Are you going to come over? Yeah, when, they, when I'm clear to, to leave my hotel. Yeah, let me see what your test say first. Hold on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Because I was like the birthday. Yeah, okay. yeah. We're good, we're good. Okay. Right, you ready? Girl, I'm nervous, girl. <laughs> Don't be. I'm very gentle, so it's not going Well, girl, honey, you, you, you telling me this. I need you to be a man telling me you gentle going up in me. Oh, God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. God. There we go. Let's do it. Let me see. Ready? Okay. Head back, okay? Focus on the breathing. All righty. I'm about to do the other side. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready? Yes. There we go. Why she got that killer glove like somebody who kill you on Law and Order? Oh my God. <laughs> Ugh. Oh. We are done. Woo. It feel like flies going in your nose. Know. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird pickle, huh? <sighs> All righty. So we are blow it out. out. Okay. That's it. That's it. All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You too. That, that wasn't too bad. No, but it just, she, she wiggled it in my nose, you know. <laughs> but, but they be acting like it's a spinal tap in the brain or something. Like they... All right, baby, thank you. No, what happened, Um, what happens is, like, the one I took in Atlanta was bigger than that. It was, like, a really big, it had a really big tip on it. So, fellas, like I tell y'all all the time, size does matter. <laughs> If, well, if it's if it's big and going into you know you know I have I have man made nostrils this is a man made nose my original really? nose yeah this is my original nose that bitch would have went right up in that bitch but you know this this is a man made wait, you nose. had wait you had a nose job I've had two nose jobs what did you do girl my child my nose used to be oh really baby oh. Did it hurt to get it done? Um, I had a black eye. Like, this eye was black for weeks. Like, a bitch beat me. Um, and, I mean, when I got up, I didn't feel, you know, no pain because I was on, on meds. But then my, no, my nose would constantly run blood. And then after a while, it stopped. Then I had another one, I, you know, because I, I had another one to go in there and um, Okay, listen, so <clears> T.S. <throat> Madison I, uh, motivated me to start my own show. Well, listen, let the streets tell it. I don't want nobody to come up with me. Hold no, on. No, no, she didn't give me no ideas. She did not give me no suggestions for names. She did not tell me anything other than motivated me to do it because she did it. Mm -hmm. And I like doing your show and I like connecting with people. So now I want you to come to my house since you're in my city. I forgot everything that you had told me. And come and see the studio I built out. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm I'm coming. I just have to get I had just have to be cleared to leave from over here. But I'm okay. coming. All right. You know. Jason, you look cute. What is going on? You know, I lost thirty nine pounds in counting. You know what I mean? I'm over here pulling it together. You look very cute. Thank you. I'm I, getting... like, I, I like this beard thing that you got going on here. It's real masculine trade for like I look you... like Trey, right? You giving me you giving me very Puerto Rican trade. You get what I'm saying? Very, mm. very Puerto Rican trade. You know, very. I'm getting ready for my OnlyFans account. 
Oh! Yeah, getting ready. <laughs> I'm getting that corporate OnlyFans together, you know what I'm saying? Oh! Why not? How many OnlyFans will you have? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but see, the difference between my OnlyFans and everybody else's is my OnlyFans will fly you out. Oh! <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm actually settling down. I'm actually in the process of uh, meeting people, you know, because I'm on this whole journey of self-love now and working on my body and working on my spirit. And I'm, try and I'm trying to manifest the man that I want by becoming the man that I want, you know? But tell me what, okay, but I want to know what kind of man do you want, Jason? Uh, I want, uh, somebody who loves me. That's it. Love me the way that I love you. Oh, but you gotta be cute. You gotta be cute. And you gotta have your own money. And Does you gotta, they, and you gotta be faithful. Unless we they, play together. Unless we play together. Do they have to be light skin or dark skin? I'm playing devil's advocate here. You know what? They can be light skin, dark skin. They could be, uh, any type of Spanish. White only if they are... Nah, they can't be white. And they can't be Asian. No, I'm sorry. Because I had sex with an Asian twice. I mean, he was Cambodian. I guess that's, that's Asian. Yeah. Mm -mm. Just mm. Maybe because we did it on the hardwood floor and my knees wasn't used. But, you know, because you have, if you have bristle on your kneecaps. Do I bring this out of people? <laughs> Is it my No, I'm just saying. And then if I'm dealing with a white boy and we had a Black Lives Matter rally and then he say, nigga, come on, then now we got a whole other type of problem. So I'm not about to be arguing in the car. Now all of a sudden I'm in a domestic with a white boy and now I'm going to shit. I'm getting shot. You know what I mean? So uh, that probably wouldn't work. But I'm thinking South African, Brazilian. What about a Wakandian? Does the size matter? Uh, size doesn't really matter, no. Okay. Um, uh, I have other deeper questions for you. Well, a, Waka you... a Wakandian means that he's going to be a fake-ass nigga because Wakanda's fake. No, Wakandian means he's going to be Anaconda. Like oh, this. no, because I'm not sticking nothing in me but my daily vitamin. It's not fair. It is it, fair. It is fair, fair for, because fair. God created a north and he created a south. God created a sky and he created a river. God didn't say, y'all all out here fucking shit up. Stay in your lane. It's the drunk but, drivers that don't know what lane they want to be in that's fucking it up. But it's not fair. It's not fair to just, you know, just want one thing. I've learned it. And if you want to have a successful relationship, you might have to flip a little bit. Well, no, that's where you and your partner find somebody to play with you. You know what I mean? So we had this conversation on my Maddie in the morning show where we were talking about um, uh, it was uh, the, the, the title of my show was uh, called Pandora's Box. Yeah. And I always say, whenever you open Pandora's Box, you wait, is Pandora a person? No, it's just like Pandora's Box. Oh. Whenever you open Pandora's Box, it, uh, the only thing that's left in the box is hope. There okay. is no hope after you have started bringing third parties into your 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 bedroom because you'll ne if there's never satisfaction you'll never be satisfied like there's never but i mean the reality of the gay lifestyle and all of the all of my homosexual brethren and sister in will attest to this are we ever really satisfied really what do you mean are we really satisfied are we ever really satisfied where the one that we got is the only one that we need so you telling me that you go through an entire relationship and then one day you just look at a piece of ass or a piece of fine. No, ass. no. I think you go through a relationship and then at some point after you have had all the great sexual experiences that you can with your partner, you build a solid foundation that you look at each other like two grown ass people and say, do you want to play with some? Let's go to Brazil and snack. Let's go to Dominican Republic and snack. Let's go to South Africa. That, 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 sounds, like a, that sounds like a piece of unfulfillment on each for both people. It sounds like excitement. You know, you don't want to live with a circus every day, but you like to go to it once in a while. No, I don't get it. I just feel like why would you why 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 would you waste your time on the chase, on the on the on the on the long, you know, process that it takes to get comfortable in this thing 
And then you start saying, oh, well, let me, I, let's, I just really, you know, like to bring a third. But, see, but that's the thing. But see, that's where, again, with this whole losing weight and self-love thing, you start to realize that the chase, although it's fun, is not really anything other than you not loving yourself. Because when you love yourself and you pour into yourself, you attract everything, everything that you want. But I'm just saying, once you're in a relationship, you know, sometimes relationships, you want to spice it up and have a little fun. Now, people don't like to admit it. But that's why there's so many people out here cheating on each other and fucking everything because they don't want to have the honest conversation. Well, if I, I was, if I was with my boyfriend, if, wait, wait, if I was with my boyfriend and he said, baby, I need to go get some pussy. You mean to tell me I'm going to just dump him because he feels like he wants to go have some pussy? No. Okay. Nigga, so, well. so basically you want a straight man. No, I didn't say that. I did but not the, say that. There are bisexual men who have date they'll just date you when they're with you but they've dated a woman before and they may still have an attraction to a woman the reality is a man ain't never gonna compete with with no vagina when it comes to dealing with a man like and, you're just and listen and and a woman has to understand just because see i i grew to have what this... women are you talking about fish no i don't know but do, I... you, do you say fish on this show anymore on your life? Uh, not really. I, I, I've been practicing. I've been practicing, you know, not to really do it. Just only refer to myself as that because I keep getting under fire for the same shit. So I just like grow. But like, you know that's lingo that we use. So I know. But I just feel like this: a woman has to understand, just like I come to the understanding, like, like, oh, like a lot of times women don't want to accept bisexual men. They don't. They, they don't. They don't see that. But, but they're already dating them. But bisexual men do exist, and see, this is the thing. This is the thing that I, I try to say. Men are sexual creatures, and it's Facts. very much so. Sexual creatures, they work with their eyes, and and I don't think, and I, I think that it's unfair. I think that it's unfair for women to hold men accountable to higher standards than they hold themselves. A woman can go out and she can have a, a, a experience. And a man cannot, and it's just unfair. I just, I just personally feel. But like I will tell, I will tell you, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this, but it's real. It's really only in the black community, though. How you say that? Because we're we're very. I think there's a lot of fragile masculinity in our community. I think there's a lot of fear of stepping outside our culture and our communities to explore our sexuality because of how we'll be you know cast it out or whatever because mm -hmm. uh, because white boys they'll be up there playing with each other's balls on instagram and it's funny and we click off and go to the next post but let some black people do it it's like it's like the end of the world it's true true shit but what what do you think is the uh the disconnect in our community from that? i think the disconnect is because we're okay well one uh sometimes our contradicting ass churches tell us one thing and another god loves us all all his children except for the homos right which isn't true then because i feel like you can be gay or lesbian transgender or whatever and still have deep faith in god and still have a deep connection to god because i know you I, do i, I know you too. do and I, I know i do right yeah yeah but, I, but i'll still go hit one off at the gay club but i'm still gonna go to church the next day well in my mind church I think the problem is that we just are afraid to just exist and explore every aspect of ourselves. I don't know. But what do you think caused that? Like, what, what do you think? Our neighborhoods. You can't suck no dick and go on the block with the boys and shoot dice. They were like, well, you sucking dick. What you doing here? But the white boys can suck dick and go surfing. Tell me they ain't got on the surfboard. What you do last night? Man, I was rumbling around with Tony, man. Boy, his balls are big. They'll laugh and drink some beer and go and fuck some girls and then be all right. Not our community. We are the angry. We are the angriest. We are the we are the we are the most righteous. And 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 I'm gonna say it because I know I've been that way at some point in my life. I'm just not there now. Now I don't give a fuck. So how do you think that you know we could like work on that issue? How do you think we can we can fix that? Like what is what do you think? start having the conversation like we have it now have the conversation that's why when people don't like when you say stuff or when i say stuff or when gay people say stuff you got to keep saying it because really in my last job they taught us in order to get somebody to learn a change behavior you gotta they gotta hear it 17 times you gotta keep saying it and keep saying it. they always say oh you always moving the gay agenda i'm gay what other agenda i don't know what other what are you talking about 
So yeah, I'm gonna keep putting it in front of you and keep putting it in front of you so you keep having a conversation because you know I know you know how many men have hit me up and said, yo, I watched that show with T.S. Madison when y'all was talking about that story with the Puerto Rican, man, that shit was hilarious. You know how many boys not, well, let me say men because if you say boys, then that'll be a clip. Right. <laughs> if You know how many young men, 27, 25, 28, that have come over, watched that show with us, died laughing and then started asking questions? But listen, okay, what, okay. You okay? What about the time I was there with uh with DJ it was damaged, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, damaged. Yeah. What about the time I was there and I and I had that conversation because I, I I saw me trending on Google for that when I had the conversation and I said to him, most men encounter or most men walk around and they think that they got the biggest dick in the world until they see another dick, and and I said that when men watch pornographic films. They not just watching for that pussy. They watching how big that nigga dick is going in that pussy. I don't give a fuck what they say. The first, the and, and, and it does cause thoughts in the mind, in the brain. There's thoughts in that. There's thoughts about it in the I brain. I mean, I don't know. I ain't never had that conversation with nobody, so I don't know. But remember, I was sitting on your show saying that, and then they started saying, oh, well, Madison's trying to make every man gay. I'm like, no, I don't think that every man is gay. I do think that it has it has crossed, you know, every gentleman's mind, you know, for them to even have that thought. But, I, mean, I mean, but I think that, don't you just think in the world we live in with social media and porn everywhere and access to it all, that the mind is already conceptualizing different situations because it's always in our face? Wait, somebody said I'm a repressed bottom. Hold on. <laughs> you know what's so crazy? Again, like I said, it'd be our community that'll go there. I would not have a problem saying I was anything because that's what I built my whole world around is just being transparent. I think the problem is it's you ugly motherfuckers who can't get a nigga who got money or who got status or who's cute that say that type of shit or that, or that secretly want to fuck me. But it's okay. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I got a lot of heat from that. Like, I was looking at it, up and they was like, oh, Madison. But you get a lot of heat for everything because you talk your opinion and you talk the shit you ain't supposed to talk about. That's the problem, but that's okay. That's what makes you you. That's what makes me me. That's why people tune in to hear what the fuck we talk about because we say the shit that everybody's already thinking. You know what, Jason? I feel like that you should do. I feel like that you should expand your brand like even more. Make a Hollywood, a Hollywood unlocked Atlanta. We already uh, had this conversation. Don't play with me. No, a Hollywood unlocked Miami. Like I think Hollywood unlocked should be in all in, the, in these different spaces. You well, get what, what, I'm well, what we're doing is when once we get out of COVID, is Hollywood unlocked is the United States. Then there'll be Hollywood unlocked Asia, Hollywood unlocked Africa, Hollywood unlocked UK. So we're expanding countries so we could be more global because we already cover. I mean, if I did, there's something in Atlanta, you know, me and you've done stuff in Atlanta. I, I have people there, I have people in Miami or whatever, but you know, we cover all the U S stuff. I, I want to expand globally, get that okay. global coin, you know, bring somebody from here to the Chinese and get that bag. All right. Now let's get back into this space. Cause I, I, I like to talk to people about, cause you know, sexuality and sex is, is cause I'm, I'm a ex sex worker. So I can talk. Don't say that. sex worker. That sounds like you was. Oh, you was on the corner. Huh? I, forgot. I was. I did all that. All okay. the things. You get what I'm saying? And then I turned it into a, a brand, a business, and then I left. Now I you came. did. But you did what every. But see, everybody don't got your hustle mentality. That's the. That's that's why I say to anybody. I don't give a fuck how many degrees you got. I don't give a fuck who your parents is. I don't give a fuck if your daddy gave you money. If you don't have hustle and and survival skills, fuck out of here. I don't want to hear it. Right. So let me ask you this, Jason. We back back to Pandora's box. Yeah. Out of all the times when I was when I was tricking off and doing the things that I was doing and, and whatever, I used to encounter many husbands, husbands, boyfriends, you know, niggas that love their girl. And they would be sitting there, we would have conversations about them and their girl. And I used to be like, Well, what you over here for? Like what 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 is what what is the reason that you're here? Like, if you love your broad, your chick so much, why you ain't tell her you was coming around here? Yeah. And th this this is one question. And then two, I'm like, well, why why don't you just explain to her 
that this is something that you that you like to do. You don't know she might. He can't. Involved. He can't do that. He can't do that because women will not create a safe environment for that conversation to happen. They won't. Now, if you ask me, do I think, do they love their girls or do they love their girls? Yes, I, I do believe that, that they love their girls or they love they, you know, they love their people. But I just think that when I, earlier when I was getting ready to say, men have to understand, or excuse me, women have to understand that that we have something that they don't have, just like I've come all the way to the full, you know, 360, that I don't have nothing, I don't have what the woman has. And when women, you know, you like to say stuff like, oh, you a man, you a man, you, you, I'm like, no, I don't want to have a, I don't want to have a pussy. I don't want to have these things because niggas love me for what, for what, for what I am and for how I am. And what, what you can't grasp about that is, I, that, that you know I have all of the things that he likes and so do you you have all the things that he likes too so you know it, it just get in my space when I'm just like girl but I'm I'm at that I'm at that um I'm at that that you know comfortable place with understand that understanding like okay it's just just what it is like you know but I just don't understand why why can't they or why can't people, you know. Because they're insecure and I really feel like people are afraid to have difficult conversations no matter what it is. We can change the topic in other controversial topic and guess what? Somebody will be uncomfortable talking about it. But that's the greatest part of what will keep us employed, not employed, but as entrepreneurs, because we'll always have something to talk about that'll always create conversation. Right. And conversation woman, and conversation a, creates coins. So a woman here, here, a, a woman just made a statement. I wanna see what she said. She said uh Tiffany Cherie said, let me She said, But Maddie, you don't wanna date men who date men. You don't want to share with gays. Oh God, I, I can't see it no more. Damn, you don't want to share with gay. She said, but you Maddie, don't wanna, you don't want to. You don't want to date you. men who date men. You don't want to share the gays, and I can't see the rest. And it says we don't, and we don't want to share with you. I mean, hey, listen, I can't stop men. But the thing I about, can't. but the thing about it is, Tiffany Sheree, <laughs> you already sharing your man with somebody. Whether it's a pussy or an asshole, you already sharing your man because re the reality is most men cheat because because Tiffany Sheree is so self-righteous that she won't allow people to have a conversation. Like your man don't feel safe. Look how you came in here and attacked us. That's why your man don't talk to you about the hole he's smashing because you don't create a safe environment. So Tiffany Sheree, you are absolutely being cheated on. Your man right now, while you up here texting us, is fucking some other nigga or some other <laughs> oh somebody. God, no, I, I didn't say that. I'm speaking for me. I represent me. Jason Delito don't represent none of that. While Tiffany Sheree is up here trying to police the conversation, your man is out with his dick and balls up against some other balls. Remember I told you this, Tiffany Sheree, and come back when you find him in your closet or in his closet, wherever they at. That's the problem right there, too. That's another problem. Y'all motherfuckers be so quick to police everybody else's bedroom, police everybody else's likes and interests, police everybody else's sexual motivations, police everybody else's relationships. Meanwhile, your man is out cock doggy style in the backyard on a cardboard box getting dug out by some tray. And your kids want their ice cream cone, but they can't because daddy too busy getting the ice cream cone stuck up his ass. God, help me get up, Lord, please. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not even working today because that was a read that I would give you if I was working. I'm just saying, Tiffany Sheree, if that's your real name. Your man is bit busy getting his sugar-free popsicle licked by some motherfucker named Carl. And then you up here asking us what the fuck we like. And we ain't, how can we take your man? If your man woke up one day and said, I want T.S. Madison to 
take me and do X to me or Jason Lee to do. No, your man was thinking that when he got with you, you just had rent free space for him to live in. He was a homeless sexual who took advantage of you. Tiffany Sheree. What an entanglement we found ourselves in. <laughs> well, what she was doing, Jason, before you before you laid her out, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, give me, hand me a sugar-free popsicle, please. <laughs> Can you give me a sugar-free popsicle, please? Go ahead. To be, to be fair, what she was doing was she was challenging me on comments that I've said before about me. Oh, dear God. <laughs> she was challenging me on comments before that I've made about saying that, like, I, I but what I was doing was I was understanding if you if you if people start listening to me and start stop ready to jump on me from the door what i was saying was i'd be understanding when women say i don't want to share men with you know with other men because i understand what it's like to be a trans person and i i, I don't know if a man like cause i said I, let me be blunt I'd be like, nigga, what is you looking at me and Jason for, bitch? If that's the case, I don't need to shave. <laughs> I don't need to shave, bitch. So what, what is the requirements? You know? <laughs> well, I mean, but that may be a part of the fantasy, right? Like, you know, uh, you know, they make one thing about you and Miss Mary and the people around you. Everybody's so motherly. There's no judgment. It's a judgment-free zone. Yo, Tiffany Sheree. Your man got up out of bed and went to work. He fought COVID-19 to get to his job, only to get there to be exposed by his coworker, but come home to you to be safe, to bring home the bacon and provide for you so your kids can get their sugar-free popsicle. And you all on his ass about not being enough. You ain't shit, because you, you, wait, 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 you saw a nigga on TV who was everything. Instead of praising the man that God put in your life, now your man got to go out and find some comfort. And guess what? He over here. He had Tiffany. He had... T.S. Master House cooking on Sundays. But this is the thing, Jason. She was only challenging my, she, she was challenging my statements on, you know, because what I was basically saying is that I, I empathize, and, and, and Tiffany, if you're listening, I empathize when women say, you know, I don't really want men that deals with other men, and I don't really want men dealing with trans women, but I try to tell women all the time, like, I share that same thought process, you know, with stuff, but I'm, I'm having to come out of that because I have to take my own medicine and say, okay, Madison, if you say that men are visual, they're, they're visual, and it might be something right there in that moment. He might want to get his dick sucked in that moment. You, you know what I'm and saying? that might be his medicine. That's the medicine. But Tiffany Sheree, if you was the doctor... The nigga wouldn't need to go to another pharmacy. But I just don't feel like that. That's true. Because that you... is true. That let me tell you something. When you create a world for your man that he enjoys, he will stay there. But if he does venture out, it's only because he knows a you're too crazy to have the conversation that he wants some something else, or b y'all don't have a deep enough relationship with trust where he can be honest with you. So either way, you ain't the right. You ain't the doctor for the job. But this is the thing, Jason. You can be the best doctor. You can be the best thing to your your significant other, and they will still tiptoe out on you, no matter how satisfied they are. They might be in the home. Not if you bring somebody into the room. That's what, no. that goes back to what I said. Well, then that person, if you have to bring another person in the room, then you and that person are not equally yoked, and y'all not supposed to be together. They were not finished. I just feel like that they were not finished doing what they wanted to do before they got into a relationship. They wasn't done. They wasn't done. Yeah. I mean, I don't I have, I don't they, have, I, I don't have. They enjoy, I think that they enjoyed, you know, the person that they got with, uh, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. But then that, that real side of them is like, man, I, I, you know, I just, here's my thing. If I'm with somebody, I don't want to be with them and two other people. Don't if you know you want to be with other people, you feel what I'm saying? Why don't we just have these communications in the beginning of our relationship? Let's fuck. I agree with that. Do. I agree with that. But that's where but but how many times do people talk before they fuck? How many times 
our motherfuckers with in, in, in low, low uh, with insecurities meeting a motherfucker moving them in. I've done it. I've done it. I met a motherfucker on MySpace, had sex seven days later, the nigga was li living in my house. So it's, but it's it, difference. It's it's like a big difference when we get when we gay. No, it is not. No, it is. It not. is. It okay. Is. Tiffany Sheree is writing to a nigga in prison right now, telling oh him, God. telling him how when he get out, she gonna be the only one sucking his dick. Well, guess what? Brutus got to stop sucking it first so he can get out. Cause I just been talking to somebody in prison the other day. Told me everybody in there is fucking. They fuck this one boy. He said he fucking the white boy, and said that's my bitch. So listen, it's a bunch of things going on out here. Tiffany Sheree, focus on your shit. But what if she is focused on her stuff and she says, I, listen, I'm going to be real. I understand her. I understand her saying, I don't want to be with no man. They want to be with you, T.S. Madison. I didn't say it was right because, like I said, I've shared those thoughts about I don't want to be with a man that's with another was with a masculine man because it, it makes you as a person yeah, you know question well damn what is it about me that you like what, what is it about me that you know what I'm saying that's, that you you might be to? exotic Tiffany Sheree may not be that's just the way it is sometimes you think sometimes you gotta stop questioning God and just let God do his work What's for Tiffany Sheree may not be for you unless it's Saturday night. I don't know. There's many factors that goes into this. You know what I mean? You may want to come with me and just have a great ass. Matter of fact, if anybody on here is cute, I'm going to St. Thomas from the 14th through the 20th. I need a birthday boo. Uh, the COVID <laughs> test is probably right. COVID test, yes. Now I'm just playing oh, Tiffany Sheree. You're baby, beautiful. I saw your... I, wait, let me say something. You Tiffany told Shrey, her, you're beautiful. Babe, I'm live. No, no, no. Like, I was, I was literally, this was all for, this, no, 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 no. This was all for entertainment, Instagram. Tiffany oh, you Tiffany Shrey, okay. this was all for entertainment. Okay. I can see you, you have a very beautiful icon. Thank you for being a good sport because she ain't been talking crazy in the comments. She's laughing at me because she thinks I'm crazy. But uh, that still was, you no, mind your business. You know, so look, I'm about I've, to create an OnlyFans. Go ahead. I've said lots up? of things that, you know, later on, like when, like when, um, just like, like Tiffany challenged me. She challenged me on a statement that I made. You, you know what I'm saying? She challenged me. But do you see her in the comments? Do you, but do you see Tiffany Shrey in the comments right now? She says, I'm dying laughing over here, crying emoji. See, this is what I'm saying. We need to be able to have these kind of conversations, however animated as we want, joking, not joking. And not take it personal. She's still gonna feel the way she feel. We still gonna feel the way we feel. And and you know the crazy part is that if we could have more of that in our community, where we could like have fun, take a poke at each poke, not not poke each other, because now y'all talking about I'm a suppressed bottom. But you know what I'm saying like <laughs> take a dig at it. I can't even say take a dig at each other. You know like you know. Well, but I I'm, I was I was good with her challenge. I was good with her challenging my 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 commentary before. Because it does. Yeah, make but you let action. you let some girl you let some girl tell you that you can't call a female fish when you know that's what our community does. No, Why? I didn't. I did not let her tell me that. What I did was, I just was like, "Girl, I don't feel like going through all of that type of stuff." When I have a conversation with somebody that's gay or trans or whatever that that understands it, I'm calling when I call myself fish, or you know, if you that's just like if you tell me, Jason, you know, like don't call me sis. Oh yeah, I don't like I don't, that. I don't like that. I'm not gonna call you sis, but I may call that like uh, somebody around you sis. Like, what's the team sis? Right, but 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 you know the people that like it and don't like it, and that's conversation within our community. I'm saying for the straight community, my friends, if we get in the car and go to the club, they're gonna be like, "Oh, I hope it's not a bunch of fish in there." That's what they're gonna say. Well, but we're in the car together, so we understand that. And and. Ooh, Brandizzle, he look cute. Brandizzle 03. Okay. Um, he, you cute, Brandizzle. Slide my DM. All right. But like, I mean, like, even we call people in our own community fish, don't we? Yeah. Oh, she's fish. Well, we we know when we call somebody fish, that means that bitch is real boots. <laughs> like when I tell when I say, ooh, that bitch is fish. Or even if I tell you, bitch, you looking like fish today, that means you looking like you got some woman shit going on with you. You look like you look like real fish. Right. 
Somebody told me I need to walk in a ball. What, what, I, what I the fuck I'm going to do at a ball? I don't know what the fuck to do at a ball. I only watch balls on poles. <laughs> um, All right, well, look, this was fun. Um, come who over is to that my... boy in the bag, Jason? I never, who is that? This is Apollo. <laughs> He's been walking back and forth so y'all can see him. Apollo is here from New York. Get Don't get on. Uh, 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 this is not your moment. Nope. Uh, he's so, my friend okay, Sean. So wait a minute, my, I'm hold on. Let me finish. He's my friend Sean's brother who's here working on some stuff right now. Working on some stuff right, right now. So and then, so and then, so and then, so and then Ariella right here produces hey, my Ariella. show. Hey, and Alexis boys. right here is going to hey, be Alexis. all on stuff with Hollywood on my Yes, we are. Yeah, hey, Sean baby. Is right here. And they're hey, having boy. lunch. <laughs> So just okay, so you so, know. So, my, so that would so that would debunk my last question because my last question was going to be: Is it showtime at the Apollo? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I don't show anything. You know, what I mean, it's I keep my time. shit. I keep my shit low because it's 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 what was her name? Tiffany. Tiffany Charay's out there trying to get mine. <laughs> you. Because <laughs> it's Tiffany Charay's out there. Like, let me go check who's on the Instagram story. I already know y'all done went and checked out my story trying to find out who in my house. Mind your business. By the way, my new show is called Gagging with Jason Lee. And T.S. Madison is coming on. And it's going to be a lot of this. Just like when I come on your show, I always, it's fun. I have fun on your show. even though Listen, you we to, have a good time. Like even though really you try to get time. me in trouble. You try to get me in trouble. I don't be getting you in trouble, Jason. Don't do that. You because know I, I said free. Tyra Banks is fat. You still ain't went and looked at her. But Tyra said, Banks ain't fat. Yes, she is. I just saw the girl in person. Why you think all her photos are neck up? I did that too, but now I'm losing weight. You don't see everything. Abs, ass, legs. Well, I don't consider her fat. She's just, she's thick. But that's okay if she's fat. We can, fat lives are okay. We are, we all overweight, like you said on your show. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm not going to do is get attacked because I come on your show and say the girl look like Lizzo. Lizzo's beautiful, but she embraces her thickness. That's what makes her beautiful because she's like, I'm a whole ass woman, accept everything, and I'm gonna put it in your face and make you love it. That's why I respect Lizzo. Tyra. But Tyra is thick though. Tyra and ain't she... Na Tyra's not Naomi. She spent her whole life trying to be Naomi. And the only Naomi's gonna die being Naomi. Now you see, it'd be this stuff that I, that they be that they be clawing in my back. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm gay. I don't want nobody clawing and shit. <laughs> Apollo, it's your time. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night, everybody. Apollo. No, we're, not, no, 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 no. we're not doing it's that. It's showtime. <laughs> oh, showtime at the Apollo. Oh, I just yeah. Wow. Damn, I'm late. I was still thinking about Tiffany Sheree. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Tyra's cute if you got a really good light on her and catch her from the side. Tyra's a bad bitch. We're not going to do Tyra like that. She a bad bitch. She is. So I, I want to see her thick like that. I met, I, I, I I met, Naomi, Cam I met Naomi Campbell. You want to talk about the bad bitch? And, oh, oh, oh and, I know. I, oh, no. I know. And, and, lo and looks at you like, not oh, shady, but like... Listen, Naomi Campbell is the, is that girl, bitch. Let's let's be honest. No, she's that bitch. She's that girl. We she ain't is. front like that, and that girl is that. that and she, she looks exactly. She looked the same as she always looked. Yes. She got them yes. strong ass uh, Nelson Mandela jeans. I love a dark beauty. I don't know what it is. I think uh, I don't think dark skin girls, and it's no shade, but I don't think dark skin girls get enough, you know, shine because. You know, and you you hear somebody say, "Oh, she's pretty for a dark skinned girl." No, she's beautiful. Right? Yeah, I don't no, like when people like when I was on that show with that girl whose name I won't mention, and she brought that up that people said that to her. I think that's dumb. And, but you know, it's also crazy. Remember how earlier you said, "What type of man do you want, light skinned man?" I'm really trying to stay away from even saying the words light skin or dark skin in any scenario because I used to say, "Oh, I like a light skinned nigga with golden hair, green eyes, tattoos." pink lips. I described what my preference was, but we live in an ultra sensitive society now where niggas are so busy, not worried about the popsicles in their niggas asses and worried about what everybody else is fucking saying with this whack ass cancel culture. By the way, that demon Ellen. 
Why is Ellen a demon? You know that little elf is a goddamn demon. She been over here wreaking havoc in Burbank, and now all her tea is being spilled, and now she giving up her show. You know how much money she makes? That girl, that girl was making so much money. But like on my show, I recently said something like, I could picture Jamie Foxx smashing Ellen, or who, that, who was it, Jamie Foxx or who else? Who else I said? August I'll see anyway, I was talking about everybody ravaging Ellen. I was like, well, I couldn't even imagine her missionary style getting ran through. Could you? Uh, yeah. By who, Lil Yachty, NBA young boy? With that, ooh, now did you catch that Bob? That was sickening. What Bob? You, did you catch that Lil Yachty Bob? When, when Lil Yachty was letting his uh, better side come out. Yeah, I love it. And I think more rappers should play with their feminine side too. It's TikTok. It's not it's real. It's not gonna happen. TikTok. It's TikTok. It ain't real. It ain't gonna happen though. No. Nah. Nope. I'm. I'm gonna tell you this, and then I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you ponder on this. We. We always ask the question because I asked you the question earlier. What. What would it take for us? You said conversation. Yeah. We have to go we have to go a step further than conversation. We have to have an example. I need one of them rappers to be on go ahead on and be like, yeah, I'm a piece of trade. Yep. I show sure will. I don't need Yeah, but but, I, but, I, I, but I would you be it. would we be able to hear a song from a gangster rapper who's talking about he just got his dick sucked by a man? Because I heard one just recently did it and then he got kicked out of his group or something. He got disowned or something. No, we're not going to be able to hear a rap song from a rapper like that. No, we're not. We're not ready to accept that. However, I just feel like those ones that get caught in the in the in, in the entanglement. Yeah. I feel like instead of them going to the front and like like uh, 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 trying to dumb it down and be like, yeah, so what? Wouldn't you have gagged if if August said he entangled the will first? No, I wouldn't have get. I wouldn't have because we all know what goes on over there in our spirit. I, I have a bad connection. I gotta go. We know what goes. We're knowing. We know what goes on in our spirits. We know what we feel. You know what I'm saying. We know these things. I'm just saying, just like when that whole and the, uh, this this is so old. <laughs> but what's the singer name who just kept getting caught every week? Who? Bobby Valentino. Why don't you just say, "Yeah, I did it." And how about this? This is the real gag. How Bobby Valentino, you know he used to date Beyonce. It's okay. on the internet. I'm just saying you had the most, I don't know. Maybe that don't matter. It don't matter. That does, ignore that. That doesn't matter. Why but won't Bobby Valentino? And, and then you wouldn't keep getting caught if you just be like, yeah. And honestly, I don't think anybody would really care because he's not really relevant. But you wouldn't be getting like all those people who have been caught multiple times because there there are some of them out there that, that have been caught multiple times in the same in these situations. Why don't one of them just be like, "All right, dog, fuck it, yeah, I love it, I love it." Because love ain't it. no because they're not gonna be able to go to the BET Hip Hop Awards and explain to Lil Wayne what he was doing. Well, how you know Lil Wayne wasn't doing it? I'm hanging up. My phone is disconnected. But I'm I just saying, how do you know these people? My phone doing ain't working. I cannot why hear do what you you're need saying. To have, but my thing is, why do you need to have valid? Like, what is it? Why do you need to have these people? But it's so many people do so many things in their home, behind the scenes that they don't need. And you get caught for it. You know how many times I done been fucking with with two niggas and one of them and both of them niggas out there telling other people in the street that I was a dude. Mm. It's like, dude, you don't even know your homeboy. You don't even know your homeboy. Me and your homeboy been in entanglement for years, bitch. You just got on the trip. I've been, I've been riding your home, your homeboy dick. So okay. what did you now, out here? Now they start. Thing? Now they start a little Wayne conversation in the comments. I got to go. No, I'm just saying. How do you know that these other people? You don't know what nobody is doing when they home. Because listen, like Young Buck, Young Buck was fucking around with trans. They try to out him. That's the problem with our culture. If James Franco was out sucking. Seth Rogen's dick. Nobody cares. The white people don't care. But the minute we see Lil Wayne getting hit from Busta Rhymes, we want to go run and tell somebody. Well, then again, that's what Hollywood Unlocked. No, Hollywood Unlocked don't do that. We don't out people, so we don't do that. But you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, listen, I've been fucking niggas for years. Don't, don't you ever think that my bad, body, my bad body man looking ass, according to the streets, 
don't you let don't you ever think that if i just ain't never been in in the forefront you know talking about that shit i don't give this not listen they ran me my check i'm all right i don't give a fuck and i've been seeing a lot of these people you know just blowing up and i'm like well why don't y'all just say yeah why is tiffany sheree asking us the same question well tiffany sheree challenged me she when challenged we... me. I mean, she ch she ch she challenged me on a on a on a on a question on a statement that I had made earlier. She challenged me on that. You know. Well, to each is all, and I pray that everybody's out having important conversations with their partners. And I think that if your love is dying down in the bedroom, you should um, invite somebody in and be comfortable with that with boundaries. And I think that everybody should explore everything that the world has to offer. And then when you find what you like, keep doing that. Because I'm happy. You're happy, right? Yeah. Very. I want everybody to be happy. And we get money. Very much so. Well, you know, let the streets tell that I'm broke, girl. So why you delete that car that you bought? I didn't. It just went off the story. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I thought you were there spending it. money. Well I, well, 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 I got most stuff to post later on when I finish. <laughs> Oh, well, so I'm building this gym at my house, and I'm going to have all the sexy Instagram thoughts come over and work out with me, and I'm going to film it and put it on my OnlyFans. You know, okay. Like, like that go tip this shit right. She said right. That was not the question that I asked her. She, she challenged me on a statement that I said. And well, I had, look, I I'm, gl it. I'm glad that you got what Tiffany Sheree was having. I didn't even care. I was just using her as a part of my joke. I love <laughs> Tiffany Sheree. God bless you, Tiffany Sheree. That's a good name, too. For real, seriously. All right, well, Maddie, I'm going to go. Come over whenever. All right. I'll, okay. I'll call, text me. I will. All right, baby. Bye. Bye. Child, Jason, I came through here. Wreck heavy, child. Y'all, Jason, I came through here and tore it up. Yes. Uh, um, I'm reading what you guys are saying. Um, um, thank you, I Baker. Thank you. Uh. Let me see. I'm reading what y'all saying. What y'all saying before I go? Shit. I'm uh, listen. I don't be sitting here. You say love P Valley. Okay, I'm about to go down, go over here right now, and I'm about to download the Stars app, and I'm finna watch. I'm finna binge watch P Valley. Y'all, I've been watching the shy. At first, I was kind of like on the fence with the shy, but bitch, I've been watching the shy, and I've been like, woo. The shy being like the team. So I've been enjoying the shy. I'm going to start watching P Valley because y'all keep telling me, watch P Valley, watch P Valley, watch P Valley. I love you too, July. I watch P Valley. So, um, yeah. And then I got to go out here and give me something to chew on. I'm going to save this on my wall. I would like for you guys that missed the live to go down there and have y'all little comments, you know, conversation in the comment section. And, you know, that's it. Um, no, we didn't go to Porto's yet. Um, that's it. I love you guys. Greenleaf, this is the last season of Greenleaf. I don't know if it got to, it's gonna have to catch catch me while I'm here quarantining. I'm go I'm about to sit down. I'm about to P Valley it out. I'm about to P Valley it out. And uh, the shy is good as fuck. All right, I love you guys. I love y'all. Patreon, my Patreon people. We are gonna be in there late tonight. You know what we are gonna be doing? We are gonna be talking about everybody, everything when we get ready and whoever we whoever we feel like. So, you know, and then tomorrow, what's tomorrow? The 5th? The day the 5th? What's the day? Bitch, I don't even know what the days is no more. The days begin, and there's no one inside this empty house to love me. Oh, oh, oh. the day's the 4th. Uh, I don't know. I was going to do a morning show tomorrow, but I got to get ready. I, bitch, I probably have to just work when I get home, because I've been, I've wanted to work remotely from here, but I'm going to have to just work when I get home. Um... Uh, yeah. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I love you guys. And I, ah, Keisha. Oh, wait a minute. I ain't going nowhere. I thought I was going to go somewhere. Keisha. Oh, I got it. Keisha. No, Keisha. Keisha. Listen, let me tell you how much, your, let me tell you how much I motherfucking love you boots, Keisha. Hear me? You got a song. You got a song, Keisha, called all of baby, 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 baby. It's a long, 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 long way down. Keisha, 
when I tell you long way down, it made me want to be in love again. Baby, it made me want to be in love again. It made me want to be, it made me want to be like with a, want, want me to want to be with a nigga that done fell from heaven. I want you to come over here, Keisha! Ow! Baby, you got to come on. You got to slide through here. Baby, 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 it's a long, 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 long way down. Girl, when I tell you, ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm looking a mess, but it's you don't look a mess. I love you, boo. I get a good angle. I love you, boo. You do you hear me? I love you too. I know I you always you got my back. Boots. But let me tell you something. If ain't no song you ever made, I you retweeted me on Twitter when I was singing Long Way Down. It's something about the way you sung that song and the way it just made me feel like, and I don't believe in love no more. No, I'm being honest with you. I don't believe in love no more. Why you don't believe in love? I don't. Why not? I don't. Girl, you see, because I just feel like people not being honest about what what it is that they want to be, who they want to be with. They feel like that they have to have, you know, just like we were talking about earlier, they have to have different partners that come into the into the relationship in order for the relationship to be happy, you know, or, or they say, well, we going down the line and now we want to add a little flavor. I don't feel like that love has to have additions. I don't feel like being in a relationship, you have to have additions. I don't feel like that there's people that need to come into the relationship. I just don't feel that way. But I think and people so, after so long, I think that being together so long, people want to rejuvenate the relationship. Some people you know, but I do, which I don't think that there's um, another person is gonna do. That. I don't think that adding another person is gonna do. I don't that. either, cause I beat and beat somebody ass, and that and ain't gonna, right. that ain't gonna so, work. <laughs> so my thing is, when you were saying, "Long way down," you know, when you was like, "Baby, baby, 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 baby," it's a long, 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 long way down. Okay, I that is one of my favorite songs. From you because it makes me and i'm gonna be honest with you it makes me want to find that area again it makes me want to get back into that space it makes me want to get into a space where like okay maybe somebody love me maybe you know what i'm saying maybe i, yeah, I mean somebody me somebody, somebody gonna love you for you i believe that that is out there somebody for you i think the part that you say being honest though about it i think that's what matters because we all have flaws we all you know are imperfect so i think the understanding your partner is the key. Communication is the key. And just being honest, like you said, not feeling like you can't talk to your partner about anything because that ain't going to work. But it's just like, but it's, it, I think that because I've been so sexual mm -hmm. in my life. Yes. That a lot of my problem is majority of the partners that I've possibly been, you know, dealing with have come from a sexual aspect and like mm -hmm. a sexual place. And even though love is definitely a a, 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 a sex is definitely a big part of love, mm -hmm. I just think that the, the sex is important. Of course it is. Because if the dick love and you can't stroke, I'm out. And I'm done. So you think that the, everybody that you they they they're having a preconceived imagination about you, or that they don't? What you what you mean by that? Well, I think because my, my 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 initial attraction is sex. I think the I'm I'm serious. I think that I I think that I feel like that you have to have a sexual chemistry in order for me to have a deep a deep. If Fine I have a good sexual chemistry with you, a good a good thing with you. I'm going to love you. I ain't going to want you to be with nobody else. No. No. But because of what you said, your sexual history. Yeah. You, you think that they, they don't believe in that. Well, I think that they initially walk in the door and they think that it's they be it's, like party over here, party. Yeah, over here. I, I think that, I think it's yes. I think it's look. I think they be seeing me do this shit right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they see that big old giant motherfucking plastic ass, and, and they just think, I just think that it's more sex, sexual driven. I think it's more sexually. And I'm telling you. You crazy girl. No, I'm telling you, Keisha, that song. Every time I listen, I, I, I was on a road trip coming up from driving from D.C. Mm -hmm. It just on repeat. And it made me feel, I'm 43 now. And it made me feel like when I was 20, 20 something or, or young, that I was, you know, I, I believed in love. Mm -hmm. I believed in it. But it's just like that song took me back to a space in my heart of, girl, I, I feel just, you. I, that's interesting because I said, I said, the times when I first fell in love and I would do anything for the guy that I that I thought I loved at the time and the love was so innocent and so pure then and like I think it tarnishes it um as you go because you know your heart gets broke more and you start to lose that interest in what love is what you think it should be because of all the times that you've had your heart broken but I think that to me is the is the problem and it's also the key to keeping your mind that um you know we have to find people that understand who we are and what we've been through what we've grown through what we come through because like i'm not the same person that i used to be yesterday in the day before that and you know when i yes. first started getting in relationships so i listen i just if i ain't never told you nothing i want to tell you thank you for that because that song really makes me have a little bit of hope for myself it makes me have a little bit of hope for myself because I really was, Thank I really you. be like, fuck it. If a nigga ain't got the money for me, I don't even think. But I, there are times in the big, that, in the big winky day. Yeah, but yeah. Now I do <laughs> listen. I do need a man with a uh, with a Moses complex. He need the rod and the staff to comfort me. Okay, but yeah, it, it's just like when I get when I hear. Sometimes I'm putting on my makeup and it's just like you. That's my playlist, baby, baby. baby. It, it take. I throw my hand back like this. I put my hand. So up let me let life. me um before we get off the phone because I know my baby gonna wake up in a second. Okay. But before we get off, I want to ask you about the interview that you did with my sister. Yeah, come on. And I want to say I appreciate that the fact that you said my whoever's views is on the show doesn't. They're not how, mine. How you feel? Yeah. That's not so, how I feel. Even though even though that was a very difficult interview for me to watch because of um you know how how she was speaking um i i want to say i do appreciate you thank you thank but not you because picking a side I, I, I told her and i tell her all the time because you know nephew comes to the house on thanksgiving or whatever i told her I, I i love you i talked to her the same way about you your that song that you have even though i'm a fan but that song that you have has a special place for me it makes me want to love again and I was like, girl, I don't, bitch, I, bitch, I fuss with Keisha the long way. I love her motherfucking ass. Like, I, I really that. appreciate that. I love you for that because it makes me want to be back in a love and, and And I'm sorry if, you know, whatever, because my show was, was a little messy. Oh, no, no, but, no. I don't, no, I don't, I don't take but it personally. I don't want you to think that, I don't want to ever be in a space of, of be thinking that we pitting, pitting each other, pitting sisters against each other. But it's just, I love you, girl. No, what happened? What happened? Oh, Lord, we done lost her. Oh, Lord, we done lost her. We done lost Keisha. All right, y'all. That was a good thing. I love my Keisha. I love you guys. I'll post this on my wall. I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.